Tribal teachers, D.I. Von Briesen, continuing with the saga of the Moodle gradebook. So we're continuing to, to talk about categories, and where we left off before, we had created this gradebook, which had uh, one extra credit item, and two categories, the classwork here, and the tests here, and several items in each. And we were talking about how the aggregation should work. So we have simple weighted mean in each category which means simply it's going to value them for the points that they're worth. So this thing with 10 points is worth a little over three times this one that's three, and this thing that's 20 is worth double this one is 10. That's how simple weighted mean works. If you want a straight mean, you could change that as mean. If you wanted a weighted mean, you could do that. I'm recommending until you really understand what those do to stick with simple weighted mean. However, now that we are looking to aggregate these two categories into an overall grade, it gets a little more complicated. Usually the reason you want to categorize is so you can say, well, tests are worth such and such, and homework is worth such and such. And in that case, they want to be different weights. So in this example, I'll say I want my test to be worth 33%, and I want my classwork to be worth, say, 67%. And to do that, we have to go with the mean or rather the weighted mean. So I'm going to pick weighted mean and when I do that you see how we have a weight up here on this line. We have this weight up here under classwork and this weight up here under tests. So with actual data to test what I think is that I could just put two here and leave one there and what it's going to do is say well value this as twice that. However, I feel a little more comfortable with percentages, so I'm going to go ahead and say 67% there, or 67, and we'll say 33 there, and the decimals are not really relevant. And then save this, and what that should give me is basically weighting the homework at a little over twice the test. So, then it's a question of what we want the students to actually see on their grades. And we have a number of options actually there. So we can go in to edit this overall area. And scroll down. And we can look at show advanced. And you notice we're going to be showing a grade type of value. Now we could just put a text. So we would text, it'll say A, B, C, D. But we'll put a value. And then down here, grade display type, we've got quite a few options. But you'll notice they're all combinations of three things. The, the word real, the word letter, and the word percentage. So real is going to mean a couple different things depending on your settings. And I'd say try that out and see if you like the number. Otherwise, switch over. I like these letter percentage or percentage letter because I've told my students, hey, you know, if you have X number of points, it's a B and X number of points is C or what have you. But it really depends on whether or not you're using averages or total points or what have you. So experiment, um, especially you can go once you have a few grades in the system and see which one is most comfortable and which one gives the kind of information to the students that you want. Um, and you'll see there's none that offers all three, but if you're aggregating, um, the percentages in the letter make sense. I'm not sure that real really makes sense if you're aggregating, but depending on how you set up your gradebook and which of those you choose, you may want that. Also, I don't really see the point in two decimal points. I would usually go to one. Again, that's a decision you'll need to make. So we go ahead and save the changes. And now we have essentially a basic grade book that has two categories, has some extra credit, and will be ready to present a student with a final grade that encompasses uh, homework that's about 67 percent and tests that are 33 percent. And then within those sub within those categories, the items are worth however many points have been assigned to them relative to one another. So this should become clear over time. You just have to work on it a bit.